You're on the coffee table. It's very hard to do an unboxing video with you on the coffee table. I'm just gonna, just gonna slide you off. <laughs> he didn't slide off that easily, did he? <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to Tuesday. Uh, last night was an interesting night and I was up very, 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 very late because I was trying to get the Far Cry 4 Let's Play out. Um, you guys probably recall that Ubisoft sent me a PlayStation 4 copy of Far Cry 4, but they also gave me a PC copy because I was interested in doing a PC version of it. Um, that ran into a lot of problems, and I'm going to go into that later, but let's just say that Far Cry 4 is a console game because it's got some serious, serious issues on PC. Like, I could not with a clear conscience recommend that game to anyone who is trying to play it on PC. As a console game, though, it was fine. But I still wanted to do the Let's Play because I had a lot of fun playing it in San Francisco and uh, I did have the PlayStation 4 copy and fortunately I didn't have a PlayStation 4 until today. Now we have a PlayStation 4. So today we're going to be doing a PlayStation 4 unboxing video which is uh, nifty. Also, this thing is thin. Like, I don't think I've ever really seen how thin the box is. but it's really really thin. We got this from Walmart because they were doing a deal um, where if you bought it, it's a pre-Black Friday deal. If you if you bought it you get a $50 gift card? Yes. Is that what it was? So we got a $50 gift card and it's Walmart so you know we'll use it to be at Walmart again buying something. Uh, and there was another deal I was looking at doing but it was a Black Friday thing on eBay and it didn't say what time it was posted and I didn't really want to deal with that. So, this is actually laid out really nicely. I like it when the packaging is good. So we have our controller here, our uh, DualShock 4. Make sure that doesn't go off again, if I can. Um, and this is neat. It's, got a, it's even got these little protective covers on it, which I'm going to take off immediately. In fact, I just took it off because this would get really annoying. And the cat's like, oh, something to choke on. That seems great. So this is neat. It's been a while since I've played with this. Um, there's a little booklet here. Cat, why do you get the most out of your PlayStation 4 system? And um, there's a code here. I can't give you the code, but it's, uh, it's $10 on the PlayStation store. It's neat. A uh, quick start guide in case you've never owned a home console before. Uh, and then some cable. Cable. Ah, okay. So this is power cable. What the? This is a, a headset. This is the headset? God, it's a tiny little thing. I would, I would not want earbuds. I would not want an earbud headset. That would drive me nuts. It's like talking on a phone. I don't want to talk on a phone. Uh, this is a charging cable. Um, is this proprietary? Kind of looks like the, the mini USB end is proprietary. Maybe not. It's just slanted and odd looking. Uh, and then this. HDMI cable. So they give you an HDMI cable. Of course, everyone does these days because the days of HDMI cables costing $60,000 are over. Although they never really did. People were just charging that much. Some places still do, probably Radio Shack or something. So how do we get this out? Lift this up. Is there anything down here? No. I love the packaging for this though. I really do. I'll give that about four seconds before there's a cat inside. Maybe three seconds. And let me get this off. All right, and the beautiful slanted PlayStation 4 design. Cool. It's very angular. I mean, I've seen a PlayStation 4 before, but I've never held one. They've always been behind a little... Glass box. Glass box. It looks sort of like a pink pearl eraser. It does, doesn't it? It really does. It really does. It's And it's, it's weird because, like, it's got, like... I don't know what you call it whenever it's inside. But the edge stops and it goes in and it comes in. A divot? Indent. 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 That's a better word. It's got some USB ports on the front. There's a disk drive that you can barely see. These are buttons. Jesus Christ. Eject and power. 
And they have the little power symbol on it, but it's the size of a stinking ant. And then on the back, what is on the back? Digital audio, HDMI out, LAN, an auxiliary port, and power. Folks, that is all she wrote. What is this thing on the bottom? Is that... I think it's just a... Oh, it's just like a rubber thing to keep it from sliding around. So, I'm, can you mount this this way, though? I guess you could. Looks kind of weird, but I, I don't know if there's any reason you couldn't. Well, nifty. Now we own a PlayStation 4. I should probably hook it up. I also uh, already moved the um, PlayStation 2. Because we had the PlayStation 2 down there. Or the I, PS3 is now. Yeah, and I, I just put that in the other room because we don't need it right now. And then I put the PlayStation 3 down there and the PlayStation 4 is going to sit. Are we getting an Xbox One that's also black to match our black color scheme on this middle shelf here? Uh, yeah, I okay. suppose. I mean, it, I don't really care. It's just I was thinking next gen would go here and then last gen would go here. Although at this point we don't use the Wii for pretty much anything, but we use this quite a bit, so. Neat! This is small. This is actually really small. This is a lot smaller than this. Okay, let's get it hooked up. Alright, so I got it all hooked up. Um, incredibly easy, because it's just HDMI power. And I had an HDMI cable back there, so I'm good. I don't know if this has any juice, but I guess we'll find out. No. Oh, wait, yeah! It flashed. Did it work, or... Is it, is it powering on? Do you have it on the right input? Oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, okay, it was the wrong one. Oops. I have two HDMI um, back there. One is for going to the TV and one's for going to the capture card. So that's why. Okay, so now, what language do you want to use? I want to use English, please. Let's begin setting it up. Okay. Checking the network environment. Uh, use Wi-Fi. Yeah, which network you want to use? Magicant. Connect the PlayStation camera. I don't have one of those, so skip. Sorry. <laughs> I made it so upset. Eastern time, that's where I live. Please set the time and date. Isn't this right? Yes. That's right. You did good, PlayStation, since you're connected to the internet. I accept whatever it says. Setup of your PS4 is complete. Enjoy an exciting world of entertainment. I'm excited. The first thing that, that comes up, software update. God, it's PlayStation 3 all over again. Um, user 1. Okay. Huh, so this is neat. Got all this stuff. Uh, notifications, friends, messages, party. So there's an Andrew WK mode. Profile, trophy, settings, and power. I got signed into my account. I can see my trophies again. Not that I was ever really gunning for trophies, but it's interesting since my account is, you know, following me from one system to another. Um, signing in wasn't too bad. I, I couldn't remember my password, so I had to reset it, but otherwise I'm good. Um, there's a lot of options uh, in here. A lot... I don't know, it seems like they're, it's easier to find stuff in the PS4, because one of the issues in the PS3 is, like, there's a crap load of information. There's a crap load of settings you can adjust. But it just seems really hard to find something. It seems a lot easier to find in the PS4. Also, you can name the PS4. So I immediately named it Chad Warden. Um, so now our PS4 be ballin'. Um, the other thing worth noting, and this is really big, if you go to system, HDCP, baby. You can turn it off. In the PS3, you could not. It's not something you could turn off. If you're not familiar with what that means, uh, basically whenever you connect a digital signal, HDMI, to the PlayStation 3, it enables HDCP, which is uh, basically copyright protection. That's what's, I'm assuming that's what CP stands for, copyright protection. So if it detected that you were hooking it into like a capture device, it would just go black. So the PlayStation 3 did that. The Xbox did not, but the PlayStation 3 had that. Um, PlayStation 4 has that, but they let you turn it off, which is great. So, I'm assuming if this is off, you probably wouldn't be able to watch, like, a Blu-ray movie. But, if it's off, we can still play games, and then we can actually capture games, which is good. So, good on you, Sony. Otherwise, um, yeah. Neato. This is pretty cool. Um, so I have 
I, I guess I technically have two PlayStation 4 games, right? Because I have Unity, even though I have no plans to play Unity. I was reading up on some of Unity. I knew that they had botched some stuff, but I didn't know it was as bad as it was. Um, apparently there's a lot of glitchiness, but let's open up Far Cry 4, shall we? Because this is a Let's Play that I want to do, dang it. And if it means going out and getting a PS4, then we'll, we'll, then we'll do that. Um, for those who've been watching, you'll, you'll know that we were going to buy a PS4 anyway, but we were going to buy a PS4 anyway. We wanted to play a little bit Planet 3. Is this the disk drive? I did it. Oh, look at that. Got a little thing on there. It's spinning. Where'd it go? Did something happen? Oh, okay, so now this is here. Oh, wait! In the next-gen systems, you have to, like, install it before you can play, can't you? Right? That's how this works. Is it installing? Is that what's happening right now? I'm new to this. I don't know what's happening. So if I click this... So it's preparing. I think it's install. I think both the Xbox One and the PS4 do that. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Anyway, that's it. This vlog went on way too long. But we got the PS4, so hopefully you got to see some interesting stuff about the PS4. Because I know someone is going to ask me, because they always do, um, with the Christmas season approaching, what is the console to get this year? It's the Wii U. I mean, it's always whatever your friends are buying. If all of your friends have Xbox One and you're going to play games together, then obviously get that. But if you're talking strictly single-player experiences or if you don't need a particular dedicated box, uh, Wii U. There's a ton of great games out for it, so... Just thought I'd throw that out there. Alright, apparently this is ready to go, so that's good. Looks like I can actually finally do my Let's Play. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, let's be back tomorrow, shall we? Today, Steven Vlog is five years old. That's a long time. We've been doing daily vlogs every single day for five years. Uh, it's easiest if Mal gets this, because she's got the cartwheel and the jetpack. So, um, I'm going to let you handle this, Mal. You get that, you get that O. Very nice. Thank you.